Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I am Josh. I'm Ross. And today, we're making a little return to a local brewery called The Fermentorium. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a little bit of a, well, not a really a change in what we do, but with Wednesdays and Wisconsin Beer Wednesdays, we thought, hey, let's do a new release Wednesday yeah. episode and let's get some stuff out there that you can go pick up off the shelf today. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff we've done, you can, yeah. um, but uh, not all of it. So this is stuff that you can actually find right now. This was actually just released on Saturday, the... What's today? The 17th, yep. um, when we're recording this. Not when you're watching. <laughs> um, but this is all good stuff from the Fermentorium. Uh, just a quick update on the brewery. Um, they are they have two locations, um, uh, two tap rooms. They've got one in Cedarburg. They've got one in Wauwatosa. And actually, a little bit of an update on the brewery. They're putting in a brand new outdoor seating space at their spot in Wauwatosa, mm -hmm. which is a neat spot. It's smaller, yeah. though. So that outdoor seating space should be pretty awesome. It and looks good so far. So yeah. I, was, I was up there today, I picked these up, and it looks good. It's coming along real nicely. And it's going to be a nice little like if you guys know where it is on Telus, that's on north avenue it's a nice area yeah. busy area people are walking all the time so it's gonna be a nice spot to kind of get out there yeah. in the summer and with the pandemic and people feeling comfortable place to exactly. sit outside exactly. and try some of their stuff so yeah. really really awesome to see that um so today we are trying the bootleggers mark series they have just released their 2021 iteration of this this is a yearly series that fermentorium releases so we're going to start off here um with the bootleggers mark um, the bourbon barrel aged yeah. one. You want to tell us a little bit about so it? So this, they're all Imperial Brown Ale. So this one's aged in bourbon barrels. Um, it's they they said it was in there long enough to pick up some burnt sugar and vanilla notes. And this one comes in at eleven percent. So, yeah, let's get these all poured, and we'll see you on the flip side here. All right, Ross, let's get a little nose on the bourbon barrel aged. Right. So again, this is the Imperial Brown bourbon barrel aged. Get a little nose. Oh, that smells. Yeah. Oh. Definitely a little sweetness uh, right up the nose. Yep. I think it's the bourbon coming out. Yeah, you definitely smell the bourbon mm -hmm. on the nose. I get that right off the bat. Then kind of those, as described, there's some of those burnt sugar and yeah. vanilla notes that kind of trail yeah. on the bourbon on the nose for sure. It smells really good. There's, it's it's sweet. I know a lot of these beers we talk about, and I say sweetness all the time, but there is definitely some sweetness there's I think sweetness with that it, with yeah. that sugar and vanilla on this. It smells. It's. I'm actually almost getting like on the nose like banana bread okay. a little bit. It's weird. I, I'm I'm getting slight green apple. Oh yeah, okay. I get. I can. So, I can smell the green apple too. But I was. I was. I was reserved just saying that because with what we have coming up, I want to see where the apple yeah. kind of goes. So for sure. So all right. All right. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. That's super good. That's really awesome. So I'm a big brown ale fan, and I. I don't think I thought of it until like I picked these up. I don't think I've had any sort of like barrel aged brown ale beers maybe a couple wow. but this is really tasty and this one you get a nice bourbon taste but it's not strong it's not boozy you just taste some bourbon which is good definitely like the vanilla character to this yeah. really comes through mm -hmm. and if you've seen any of our recent reviews or past videos like vanilla is one of those things that are one of my favorite things yeah. to see as an adjunct in a, in a beer and that comes through here really strongly. It's not super heavy, but it's present, and it definitely, you take notice. On the nose, and you taste, you we understand it's a bourbon barrel-aged beer, but it doesn't it doesn't drink that way. It just not, it's not boozy, it's not sharp, it's just very smooth. No. It's got a nice sweetness to it. The front of the beer, you get bourbon. The back of the beer, the bourbon kind of tails off a little bit. And then that's when those vanilla and that kind yeah. of that burnt sugar note really comes through strongly. And being a brown ale, it's not filling. 
not at all. It's actually pretty light. It's not like a stout where you're just like, oh God, like this is very drinkable. And at 11%, um, dangerous, dangerous. (laughs) I'm going to put this in untapped at a four and a quarter. I think this is really, really good. Um, Not the best beer I've ever had, but well done fermentorium. This is fantastic. Um, I would absolutely drink this anytime. I'm right there with you. I got four and a quarter and I kind of want to go a little bit higher, but I also understand we have two more beers to drink and I right. want to see where they go. But right. I, I think four and a quarter is a very good score for this. and It's a good start. So Agreed. really well done. Agreed. All right, what do um, we got next? It's making me excited for the next one here, which is the, how the heck do you pronounce this? Pomo. Pomo. Okay. So this is the bootleggers mark Pomo. So this is another Imperial Brown Ale. This is aged in apple brandy barrels for like <clears throat> a really long time <laughs> or something, like multiple times. Yeah. Um, it's some type of special cider-ish api- apple brandy barrel aging that happens on the back end for it to make it a pomo. Yeah, I would say definitely check out their Facebook page. You go through the whole description. Yeah. Actually, when I picked these up, I was able to talk to Maggie, who works over there. And she's when to put it out there and she basically memorized it. Really well done, Maggie. Was, she, her description was awesome. It was way over my head yeah. um, but it was really sure. it was really fun to talk with her a lot of things are yeah <laughs> short joke <laughs> i got you um but no i mean honestly she was great to talk to and kind of get an idea where these kind of came from but yeah um check out their facebook page for the full description because there's a lot of detail that goes into it yeah so this one comes in also at 11 percent again in those ap- apple brandy barrels um let's get a little nose on yep. it I think there's more of that apple character mm-hmm. definitely on the nose. Absolutely. I'm not a huge brandy guy, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm smelling if I'm picking up brandy notes on there or not, but there's like a, a liquor note no, to it, I'm guessing. I'm getting brandy. It's um, it's not as a strong scent, in my opinion, as a bourbon or a whiskey or anything. Right. Slightly sweeter, uh, a little more tame. Uh, which is what I'm getting here. And I think that apple, apple and brandy is a really great combination. It's a classic combination, so it makes a lot of sense. Well. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's tame, and it's tame in a good way. It's it's very flavorful and everything, but it doesn't, like, nothing really punches you in the face. You get brandy and apple all the way through, um, and it's very just well balanced throughout. It's smooth. Yes. I think that's, that, that's really what you get. The, the apple character is there. It's not like, it's not crazy apple forward mm-hmm. or anything like that, but you can tell that it's there. It's baked into this beer, uh, along with the brandy. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I guess that's what you'd expect with this, right? Yeah. Based on the description, what we would expect from a beer like this, that's exactly what it is. Um, it's good. It's yeah. solid. I think it's and, really well made. And once again, coming at eleven percent, I would not guess it. Like it's what's amazing about these beers so far is the taste notes they're giving is what you're getting, and the eleven percent is just it's very sneaky in there. It, I would say the one downfall, the one pitfall to this is it feels like those notes that you're getting uh, um, on the taste of this drop off fairly quickly. Mm-hmm. Like I wish they were a little bit more prolonged. Like I wish on the back end of the beer, you got a little bit more of that apple and brandy flavor that carries through. But to me, it feels like it dissipates really, really quickly. Um, but all the characters, the notes, the flavor is there on the front. So I think that's probably the most important piece yeah. of it. No, very good. Um, you know, this compared to what we just had, I have this a little bit lower. I have it at four, though. I still think it's very good. Um, to the point you kind of hit, it lacks just that little extra depth that you'd like in a beer like this, mm-hmm. where it has such good flavors up front and everything. But it's just so smooth and so tasty up front that even though it doesn't have maybe the depth you want, it's still a very solid beer. So I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm close to you on that. I, I think I like it a little bit less than you do. I'm going to put it at a 375, which is still a really good score. I mean, this is a great beer. It's it's well made. It's well it's well fashioned. I, I like this, but um, I'm also comparing it a little bit to the impact that uh, the bourbon barrel yep. one had. And um, I'm going to put this a little lower. I'm going to put it at a 375. 
So last on our list, we have the uh, Imperial, it's a, this one's aged in oak maple syrup barrels, um, which uh, we had some beers, I think, in syrup before, I think from Fermentorium, the one of the Sweater Weathers? Yeah, Sweater yeah. Weather. Yep. So we've definitely kind of done this before with Fermentorium. Um, this one's going to have a little bit of vanilla and oaky notes with some maple syrup sweetness. Um, again, comes in at 11%, uh, so let's get some nose on it. All right. Yeah, I'll be, I'm a little surprised because given this one had the syrup in it, I was expecting this to have much more sweet on the nose. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness. I am actually. I'm getting a pretty okay. decent amount of sweetness. Not maple syrup, though. Like, I'm not getting, like, maple syrup notes to it. I think I'm getting a little bit of the oak character from the barrel on the nose, too, but it's subtle. I'm getting a little vanilla. So, that's what I'm getting. But it's not, it's not sweet. No. All right, let's give this one a go. All right, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Ooh. That's good, and it lingers really well. It really does. Yeah, that one's strong all the way from the front to mm -hmm. the back. Like, uh, I do get maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Not, again, not like... Not like a breakfast beer where no. it's like super maple syrup forward. It's very well baked into the brown ale. Yeah. But you get those traditional imperial brown ale notes with a little bit of that maple syrup mm -hmm. sweetness at the front. And there's a little bit of a bite to it too, I think. Um, and I think maybe that's the oak character from the maple syrup barrels. But like there's a bite to it up front and it carries all the way through the, the back end of the beer really, really well. What's amazing about this is, as you said, it's very flavorful up front and all the way through. But it's the subtleness of the syrup all the way through that really just kind of adds that nice sweetness to it with that vanilla kind of kicking in as well. Yeah. Um, that really adds a lot to this beer because, like like you said, some of the breakfast beers that we've had or some of the ones you've possibly had, those breakfast beers with syrup and it can really just kind of punch you in the mouth. And it's while it's very good, it can overpower the rest of the beer. This is still, it's a brown ale with some syrup hints to it all the way through. It's yeah. very flavorful. 100% agreed. This one, in comparison to the other two, I'm splitting this one down the middle of the three, so I'm putting this one at a four. I think this is really well made. I like the consistency from the front to the back. It's smooth, but it's got those characters as written and described on the can and what I was expecting. Um, I still think the bourbon barrel one wins out the day for me between these three, but I'm putting this one at a four. So I'm, I'm kind of torn here because I like this more than the pomo, but I like it slightly less than the should have given yourself more wiggle room. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to just <laughs> round up. I'll say a 425, but understanding that I had the bourbon slightly ahead of this one um, and this slightly above the pomo. So, um, all in all, a really good series. Uh, it was fun doing a brown ale. We haven't yeah. done a brown ale yet, so I was glad we were able to get this in. Um, and it's fun to pick up a beer the day of the release and get it, get it going right away. So. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff, yeah, Fermentorio. Absolutely. Happy Wisconsin Beer Wednesday to everyone, and happy New Release Wednesday. This was a good series of beers. Yes. Um, uh, again, well done, Fermentorium. So, um, for us, check us out on all of our social media platforms, as always. Facebook, Untapped, Twitter, Instagram. You can find us there. Um, like, comment, subscribe here on YouTube. If you've tried these, if you haven't gone out and picked them up, go check these out. These are well worth your time. Um, let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see, other breweries, other things going on as we get towards summer here, as we've been talking about in our last few videos. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff happening here in Wisconsin, and we're excited to bring some of those experiences out here to the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, looking forward to that. Stick around for our next episode coming soon. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Brown ale. Ooh, I love me a brown ale. <laughs>